Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Ubuntu 22.04 LTS version on VMware Workstation Player on your Windows 11 operating system. So for those of you who don't know what is VMware Workstation Player, VMware Workstation Player is a tool using which you can install any other operating system virtually on your host operating system. So for example, in this case, Windows 11 operating system is our host operating system and we want to install Ubuntu operating system virtually using VMware Workstation Player. So I'm assuming that you have already installed VMware Workstation Player on your Windows 11 operating system. If you don't know how to install VMware Workstation Player, I will put the link of the video in the description where I have explained how you can install VMware Workstation Player. So once you have VMware Workstation Player, it's going to look like this. Now the other thing which we need is Ubuntu 22.04 ISO file. So for that, you can open your favorite browser and search for Ubuntu. And the first link which will appear here will be from ubuntu.com. So I'm going to just click on this link. And then under downloads, I can see uh, this green button under Ubuntu desktop, which says 22.04 LTS version. So we are going to click on this 22.04 uh, LTS uh, button, which is going to start the download of the Ubuntu ISO file you can see. Now this file is around 3.4 gigabyte file, so it might take some time to download uh, this ISO file. So I have already downloaded this ISO file, so I'm going to cancel this download. And I'm going to show you how this file looks like. So after the download, you can see this file looks like this with the name Ubuntu 22.04 desktop hyphen amd64.iso file. And now we are going to start the installation of Ubuntu on VMware Workstation Player. So on VMware Workstation Player, you just need to click on this link which says create a new virtual machine. And here we are going to uh, choose the third option which says I will install the operating system later and then click on next. Now here choose uh, the Linux uh, option here and then you can choose the Ubuntu 64 bit version from here. Then click on next. Here you can give the name to your virtual machine. I'm going to name my virtual machine as Ubuntu 22.04 64-bit. And this will be the location where your virtual machine will be saved. So if you want to change this, click on Browse. And then from here you can select the directory in which you want to save this uh, virtual machine. So I'm going to save this virtual machine in the Ubuntu uh, directory inside uh, my D uh, directory and then click on next and then you can specify the capacity of the virtual machine. So I generally choose uh, 100 GB for uh, this. So I'm going to just uh, give 100 GB for this virtual machine. Also I'm going to choose split virtual disk into multiple files option here and, and then click on next. Now here on the next window, you can customize the hardware. So click on customize hardware and then you have the memory, which is 4 GB. You can increase or decrease the memory depending on the capacity of your uh, computer. I'm going to increase it to 8 GB because my computer allows this. And then I can choose the processors. By default, two processors are assigned to my virtual machine. I can assign more processors. So for example, I'm going to just uh, choose four cores for my virtual machine. Then I have the option to uh, choose the new CD DVD. From here, I can provide the path of my ISO file. So I'm going to select use ISO file image and then click on browse. And then I can browse to the location where my Ubuntu ISO file is located, which I have downloaded. So I'm going to click on this uh, file and select this file and then click on open. And you can see this file is uh, selected here. You also have some advanced um, settings here, but you don't need to worry about them. 
You also have a few other settings here, but for now we are going to leave everything as default and then click on close here and then click on finish. What this is going to do is it's going to create this Ubuntu 22.04 uh, virtual machine on your VMware workstation player. Once this virtual machine is created, you can select this machine and then click on play virtual machine, which is going to start the installation of Ubuntu on your VMware workstation player. So here, first of all, you will see this kind of uh, window. Here you need to choose try or install Ubuntu, which is already selected in my case. If it's not selected, use arrow keys to move uh, up and down here and then select try or install Ubuntu and then press enter here, which is going to start the installation of Ubuntu. So now you can see the installation of Ubuntu is starting. So now on the first window, you will see the interface like this here. On the left hand side, you can choose your favorite language in which you want to install Ubuntu. I will choose English here and then click on install Ubuntu. Now on the next window, you can choose the keyboard layout. So in different countries, we use different kind of keyboard layouts. So for example, in my case, I am using the German keyboard layout. So I'm going to choose German here. And then I'm going to choose the German option here and then click on continue. And now on the next window, you will be asked to choose the updates and other softwares. So I'm going to leave it as default, which is normal installation. And then in other options, I'm going to choose the download update while installing Ubuntu. And also I'm going to choose this option, which says install third party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware and additional media formats. Now I'm going to click on continue. Now on the next window, you will see installation type and by default, Erase disk and install Ubuntu is selected here. So you need to leave it as default. Don't worry, it's not going to remove anything from your host machine. It's just the installation step. So if you are installing Ubuntu on actual hardware, it's going to erase the disk. But in this case, it's not going to do anything. So just uh, leave it as default and then click on install now. And then here you just need to click on continue. And now on the next window, you can choose the location where you are located. And by default, Ubuntu has chosen uh, my approximate location, which is Berlin, which is okay for me. So I'm going to click on continue. And then on the next window, you need to provide the username and the computer name for your Ubuntu operating system. So I'm going to provide a code bind here as my username. And my computer name will be a uh, code bind hyphen virtual machine. So I generally uh, just keep the same name as my username here and then pick a username. So I'm going to leave it as same. And then here you can provide a strong password because it's a demonstration. So I'm going to choose a very simple password, but you might want to choose a strong password in your case. Once you are done, click on continue which is going to start the installation of Ubuntu on your VMware workstation player. So from this point, you just need to wait for this progress bar to reach to the 100% mark for each and every tool. And once the installation of Ubuntu is finished, you will be able to see uh, this kind of message which says installation is complete. You need to restart the computer in order to use the new installation. So at this point, you just need to click on the restart now button, which is going to restart your Ubuntu operating system. So once I click on the restart, I will see uh, this kind of uh, window, which says, please remove the installation media and then press enter. So at this point, you just need to press enter here, which is going to uh, restart your Ubuntu 22.04 virtual machine. And now you can see our Ubuntu operating system has been uh, started here. You just need to click on your username and then just give your password, which you have provided at the time of installation. I'm going to provide my password and then press enter. And now you can see uh, our Ubuntu operating system has been uh, started. For the first time, when you start uh, Ubuntu operating system, it's going to give you an interface like this, where you can uh, choose the online accounts from here. I'm going to skip everything for now. So I'm going to click on skip next and then next and then done. And now you can see our Ubuntu operating system has been started. So 
I'm going to just maximize this window and you can see our Ubuntu operating system has been resized according to the desktop size of my Windows 11 operating system. So from now you can start using your Ubuntu operating system virtually using VMware Workstation Player. So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.